you need tonight A little something to whet your appetite And it's gonna make you feel alright Sweet gravy and caramel kirk Check them out as they go to work c -c congratulations on your new podcast Now open up a can of a bass And blast, blast, blast And I hope you like this show. Wow. Oh. Well, yeah. That's it. Ooh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Typically, after that, I, I press the uh, purple button. Mm -mm. You don't want to hit the purple button? No. no. I was only planning on the red one. It's uh, my turn. I'm doing it. So okay. we're only doing the red one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, welcome back to another episode of Sweet Gravy Podcast. Uh, it's been an interesting week. I've had an interesting week anyways. You have. Definitely a, a busy week. Really busy. And it's uh, the weather is warming up again. It was a beautiful day today. You work today. We're a, a day late. It's Sunday. Mm -hmm. We've been, you've been busy, busy lady. Yeah. So uh, I think we can take some time and maybe like uh, say that maybe our episodes will come out on Saturday. Or maybe Sunday. Maybe they'll be out on Sunday. We're not sure just because of everything that's going on. Yeah. This is kind of something extra. So it's the thing that we can put on the back burner a little bit. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Um, a little stress management mm -hmm. there. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm uh now I'm working the two jobs and also in school. Also going to school, yeah. Yeah, so we we were on spring break for a week and then now this week we're we're back at it and I don't know. I feel like my class is just dumb. Our yeah. entire class is almost embarrassing the to I'm part of the, of all of them. We are dumb. Mhm. Mm and um it's a group effort of dumbness. It's a group effort of dumbness. Mm -hmm. It's like the entire class like we'll be doing a test and then the teacher will be going over it and then people ask so many questions that she's like i didn't even get to finish the review so i guess we'll just push the test back till uh -huh. the next day because i didn't get through the review because you guys didn't get past this part and i'm just like she probably think we all so dumb mm -hmm. because we none of us get anything going on in the class well she has to do it year after year too so it's but, like here yeah. they go again and then one time she had that good class and they all got it She's like, why can't I have the class of 2007 again? Right. Where are they now? They're probably all the uh, hospitality elite. Yeah. Conrad Hilton. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sanford Marriott. <laughs> and I got this class right now. They don't understand Excel. Uh -huh. <laughs> like I, we they can't put in formula. This kid's doing calculators for his excel formulas and then just putting in the numbers <laughs> right and she's like if you know how to use excel like you've already done multiple projects uh -huh. if you use the excel formulas you don't have to use the calculator the problem is he doesn't get the excel how to do the excel formulas that's mm -hmm. why he's using a calculator and then she's like you know i can type on this tap on the cell and see if you input it or not oh no and he was like the look on his face was like <gasps> she's got the cheat code oh my god i've been doing this the whole time and, now, uh -huh. and i didn't know she knew right <laughs> he's a young kid and it's funny because she's like, why do you have a calculator i was like oh my god it's so funny you're gonna get get told on by himself Mm-hmm. that's funny yeah but it's uh excel is, it sucks and she's going deep into it too with all these formulas and i think uh last week from what the girl was telling me the whole class like went off on not went off on her but they were all like we don't understand this we need more time it's coming up too fast and mm -hmm. like so she extended it to next week right it's like oh my god is every next, assignment is next week this week yeah oh no yeah this week Ooh. this week coming up so i probably should it's due thursday uh -huh. i probably should start working on it a little bit every day probably yeah. but you're the procrastinator you're the great exaggerator and you're the uh, uh what's a synonym for uh great uh fantastic you're the great pro uh, exaggerator the fantastic procrastinator i don't know if Carmen i would say Johnson. that huh that's who she is 
I don't exaggerate, but I might procrastinate. <laughs> <laughs> no, whenever, whenever uh, you know, we have like a disagreement about something, you exaggerate it, or you say, "Oh, I'm never doing this again." Like how many times with the uh, example of uh, exaggeration, uh, you're doing a, uh, you're working on the Excel thing, mm-hmm. and you're like, "I'm just gonna quit." <laughs> <laughs> you're exaggerating. You're going to take about an hour and then you come back to it. You're exaggerating that you're going to quit the whole thing. You really that's, how take a little that's how I feel at the time. Right. I'm just like, this shit is too much. I'm giving yeah. up. Then you realize it. Then you're like, okay, got to get back to it. Yeah, you. I was telling you that uh, the teacher gave me back my test to take and I just gave it back to her and didn't retake it. And you were like, you're so fucking difficult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, I could take one F. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot, but once I get through it, then I'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Fine uh, to move on. So, uh, recently you have been trying to get these wing concert tickets. Well, it's the 25th anniversary of South Park, and they're having a concert at Red Rocks mm-hmm. in August. Um, Primus and Ween are going to be playing. Trey Parker and Matt Stone, the creators of South Park, will be there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a uh, hard. It's hard enough to get Ween tickets, mm-hmm. but then you got the Primus people in there, mm-hmm. and then you got the South Park people, which are a bigger populace than either one of those, you know, niche bands. Mm-hmm. And so they, the uh, access the uh, company that uh, is running the event, they had a. Uh, basically like a lottery where you like register to get in, in on the pre-sale and then you know you thing and then you get chosen you get chosen carmen to uh buy two tickets max two tickets per household mm-hmm. only two people in the whole household get to go so i i registered i told some people that might want to go you know also to register as well to register i was told to register actually mm-hmm and then, uh, so I did. And then Wednesday, the 23rd, was whenever they selected, randomly selected the people that were going to be selected into the. Being able uh, to get the tickets first. Get the pre sale tickets. And so I was like, okay, let's get it. Right? Mm-hmm. Because it's going to be like an amazing event. You know, mm-hmm. it'll be a lot of fun. And then I was like, okay. I, I wait all day long. They say that the drawing will be uh, Saturday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Sorry, the Wednesday afternoon, mm-hmm. the twenty third, and uh, at noon time. They don't say if it was Mountain Standard Time, which it was, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, I'm Eastern Time, and I'm looking at my phone from noon all day long, all day long, all day long. Seven thirty six rolls around. Carmen. Oh my God! You know the exact time. Seven thirty six rolls around. I get the email, and. It says, thank you for participating, but uh, you were not selected. Oh, no. Sorry. And then, uh, Carmen, a, a single tear went down my eye, mm-hmm. down my face, th- th- from my eye, Carmen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I didn't get it. And then I, I'm looking at the email, and then I get an email from PlayStation, Carmen. Mm-hmm. And... It says you've been selected to get uh, from Sony Direct to buy a PlayStation Five. My my eye, my, the tear went, went zoop, back into my eye, Carmen. I was like, "What?" And it was sent the exact same time as my rejection, my acceptance came, Carmen. And I was like, "Oh, this ain't the worst thing ever." Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I lose the one, I get the other. And it's great, right? Mm-hmm. And so basically, what they do is. They give you a link for the next day, uh, so- Sony does. And it wasn't even on my current, like, PlayStation Plus account, mm-hmm. my PlayStation Network account. It was on one that I had on the island, which wasn't even... You a- got a PlayStation Network account? Yeah, I have two of them. What is that for? Just so you can buy things. Oh, and, okay. Uh, they can get... In- you have to make a profile. Remember when you wanted to play Overcooked? Mm-hmm. And then we had to make you a profile. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need a profile. Okay. Yeah, 
So it's that. Only I went deeper because I have an email attached to it. Right. And it was in an email that I use in case I get, like, the junk stuff, right? It's like my junk email. Mm -hmm. And then my current PlayStation is on my real email. Mm -hmm. And I was like, there it is. And then... So I was like, okay, well, the day is going to be a good day. And I was super excited. You're going to buy the PlayStation then? Yeah. Okay. Well, you got to wait till the next day whenever they give you a window to go on the account and then you mm -hmm. buy your PlayStation, right? And uh, you, I tell you about it. You're like, what about this one you got here? <laughs> you're like, what about the four you have? I was like, no, but it's time for a five, Carmen. They're not making games, uh, the the primo games on the four anymore. You mm -hmm. got to get the five. You got to get the five, Carmen. And would you sell the four? You could, or I could just keep it. You could use. Well, why would you keep it if you got the five to use? You could use it for streaming, so you don't wear out the five. Oh my God! This is like how long is it supposed to continue? Then you're supposed to have four, five, six, seven. All these PlayStation. Well, you will eventually and you pay weed it out. Five thousand, five hundred, a thousand for e that's crazy <laughs> to me. Why? I don't know because I'm pretty sure you could just download the app for the game and play it on your phone. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Anyway, um. I just don't get the gaming thing. So the next day I was at work, right, and my window was at two, to go on to the site hit the link on the webs on the email that they sent you to get your playstation 5 mm -hmm. and i was like I, I went to my work i was like i'm taking my lunch at two you know typically i take go to lunch at like you know noon 30 you extended your lunch to do the playstation why well, postponed my lunch postponed your lunch right to do the playstation right <laughs> so I was You're like too deep into I'm it. going to lunch at two. I go to lunch, I hit the link, it's two o'clock. You know, I'm 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 sitting in the car, it's uh, uh what time is it? One fifty nine. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at the clock. I've got the email right there, looking at the clock. Two. Bam! I hit it. It's right there, Carmen. And then I get hit into the queue and it says, uh my I'm gonna have to wait more than an hour. Your wait in the queue is gonna be more than an hour. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be sitting here for more than an hour, but I'm getting that PS5 car. I'm not gonna get it. I'm in the queue. You're gonna sit in a parking lot on your break for an hour, over an hour? Yeah. And you I'm can't do that. And I was sitting there, and I was sitting there, and then all of a sudden, it was seven minutes. That. Over an hour got dropped down to seven minutes, Carmen. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh yeah, here it comes. And I was like, why did it drop off so so soon? Mm -hmm. It just got me down, but it's a, hey, you know, that's how it happens. You know, whenever you're, like, loading something, it's, mm -hmm. like, it's stuck on 20, and then all of a sudden it's at 99, mm -hmm. and then you wait at the 99 for, you know. But then that seven minutes turned into about 15. And then finally I was led into the store. The phone goes, bing, and then they take you into the store. I'm, like, looking at it. It's like your this is your invitation experience to the PlayStation uh, online store. Mm -hmm. And then I go down to the consoles, and it says no stock, <laughs> no stock for the disc, no stock because the new five you can either get one with a disc drive or completely online. Mm -hmm. You know, no disc drive at all. You just download the games, mm -hmm. and it neither one of them were there. And then I said, that's why the queue went down. So, mm -hmm. because they all got bought. And so then I had two tears one for the postponed oh uh, upsetness of the concert. And, and your then, friends didn't get accepted either to the wing? Uh, I know two people that got upset, accepted. Who? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, tell me later. Yeah. They're not going to share a ticket with you? Nah, I don't think I'm going to get a. No, no. But that's okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's so One of them's just a person I know. One of them I, would, I consider a friend. And that friend's not going to give you that ticket? No. And they know how much you like Wayne? Yeah. Do they like Wayne as much as you? Um, probably more. Oh, yeah. That's why you didn't get the ticket. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not butthurt about it. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I've, I've come to a place of serenity, you know? I <sighs> Serenity now. And you text me, Serenity, no. you text me, the PlayStation 5 is out of stock. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't get it. 
because I was invited. They gave but me the never, hope. But Carmen. you never tell me you got invited to it. I did though because so, we had the conversation the night before. Yeah, but I don't know. You be talking about this PlayStation. You 5 don't pay attention. The, you talk about the PlayStation Five all the time, I, and I will never get spending that much money on a game, and you already got a game. Right, but it's a new. It's a new game, Carmen. Yeah. Yeah, and that's why I haven't gotten like those iPhones because that the same thing happened with those. They're mm-hmm. too expensive to keep buying new ones. Yeah, I don't get it. I get it. I get the cheap phone. Yeah, me too. Those it do all the same thing that the other stuff do. Right. They might have a couple little features that's extra, but uh-huh. whatever. Like my phone, my phone was I don't know maybe like four hundred dollars, mm-hmm. so maybe three fifty. I can't remember. But it's got like four lenses on it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't need that many lenses. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. So I was like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You'll be I'm, fine. I'm okay with it. Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, you'll get it when you get it. Oh, man. There's so it's... many people trying to get them, too. Everybody's talking about That's trying the to thing. get them. That's the problem. It's so hard. Yeah. And then you the see. COVID, the COVID uh, took away all these uh, processors. Mm-hmm. Then, and all this technology that's supposed to get made. Mm-hmm. Can't make systems. Can't make cars. All of it. Well, then also you see videos where like when they first came out like people were trying to buy them all up like running to the stores buying them all up at the same time or going to little like game shops and whoever might have had them in trying to buy like multiple ones so they could try to sell them online and i think uh some places were saying they pretty much had to limit it to like one per person or one per yeah a lot of stores weren't weren't even selling them out of the store right right but people try to it's it's a game if you they're still not if you go to like a target website Mm -hmm. they say only online shopping right you you, if you go to a best buy you go to where the ps5 should be it's not there they say you must check our stock online right they don't even want to deal with the drama that comes with having it in stores like You know that video I was watching online where uh, it was like a new PC or something that came out and this family, it was this couple and they had like 16 of them in their basket and somebody was riding past with a camera was like, damn, Mm -hmm. so y'all just take all of them? Mm -hmm. Like what? Y'all bought 16 PCs? Mm -hmm. They're like, they didn't use that stimulus money right? and bought all the computers and they're just going to go to StockX or somewhere and try to resell them. Yeah. You know, whenever we bought your laptop for school mm-hmm. uh it was the we had to go to three different places mm-hmm. to just get a laptop yeah these people mm-hmm. do stuff like that right it made it a harder go to best for buy the guys like well we don't really have all the only things we have on stock are these two and i was like why do you have all these other ones on display well we can get them to you yeah like well, well, when at what cost mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we go to staples and then that guy was he just kept on he's like you want this feature no you were just over it you were like no just well, sell us first, the computer first he made us a wait to, for a salesman to show up because he was busy with another customer mm-hmm. and i was like i just want this computer i was like i already looked at all the stuff this is the one that i want right and he was like no you got to talk to somebody i was like why just this is the, the one that i want right <laughs> he was like no you need to talk to somebody so then finally we talked to him and he said you don't want any of the coverage I said, no. yeah you want this you want this you want this and you were like no, no. i just want to buy the computer I just, just want give me the computer, computer. that's this, it that's all He's I like, want. well let me explain this to you and you're like nope nope <laughs> nope <laughs> you think that's too much yeah you're not getting any extra commis- commission dude like just mm-hmm. give us the computer how it is yeah we got wi-fi it'll be fine right it's doing too much we can turn yeah. it on and figure it out <laughs> like we don't need your help so yeah, yeah. And then uh, I was sent a, a message uh, of a company that wants to use uh, us as a influencer platform mm-hmm. for their scarves, dog scarves, Carmen. Mm-hmm. Third disappointment. You emailed her back, right? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't, Carmen. I didn't because we don't have a dog. Yeah. Uh, basically. But you said you were going to do it. I, I, basically, uh, somebody contacted us. They're like, oh, like like what you put on there. And uh, there's this company of dog scarves. And they're like, hey, uh, let's give you some free merchandise. And, you know, we see if we can do a business together. And we don't have a dog. We don't have a cat. We got no way to use or display 
this dog scarf. <laughs> Uh, first, all. first first sponsor down the drain, Carmen. How do we do it? And then on top of that, it's for small dogs. Small I don't dog. even know what to do with small dogs. No, like, they had some for big dogs too. Yeah, but they're yeah. little scarves. They're like no, they come in sizes, Carmen. I'm not putting that on no pit bull. They go on the little cute dogs. You don't put them on little big old dogs. Well, I guess I saw our neighbors with. Their pit bull, and he yeah. had a nice little scarf. Nice it was cute, scarf. but yeah. it looks so it looks so weird. <laughs> His dog barking at people with this cute scarf on <laughs> looks funny. Yeah, so I don't know. It's uh, yeah, that was third disappointment. Is the, well, that'll keep the coming in. The fact that you know we can't, we got this opportunity, it can't go forward with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's a weird opportunity to get, uh-huh. and then be like, we're gonna do this. Right. They're like, y'all got dogs? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> You have any animals? No. Right. Not at all. None. <laughs> Carmen's right. been talking about getting a, a a tortoise for a while. We could put one on that. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that stuff though. They'll sit. They'll sit there and not move. They'll sit in their shells. They'll be like, I'm not. Would moving. they just put their head in? <laughs> so then it wasn't un- on their neck anymore. <laughs> they just get uncomfortable. Like they just want to do what they want to do and mm-hmm. they don't want you to bother them just make sure their food is there and their water is there uh-huh. change their tank other than that they don't want to be friendly with you or they just want to walk around slowly uh-huh. <laughs> i used to have to have to watch Petey because Petey was a big dog and uh the turtle he was just he didn't know what it was he's like what is this thing crawling around like he mm-hmm. tried to bite it the first time when he was a puppy and mm-hmm. the shell was too hard and he's just like what is it? So he would jump back, bark at it. But then after that, Petey would just literally put his paw on top of the turtle, like smack him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, stop slapping him. Mm-hmm. And then after a while, he just it was like, oh, he's boring. And yeah. he just didn't bother him at all. Him. Yeah, he would crawl over by Petey, and Petey would just get up and walk away. Like, mm, he Why do you think he was crawling over to him? I don't know. <sighs> he got comfortable after being with us. We had him for like three years mm-hmm. so after being with us for a while he got comfortable and he would just crawl over mm-hmm. like my mom's so silly she would put him in the grass and now you in the grass is too tall so now you gotta go try to find a turtle in the grass mm-hmm. why would you do that that's funny like who <laughs> like you gotta gate it off or something so we're not going all the way around this yard trying to mm-hmm. find this turtle and not step on him like are you crazy yeah. it's like man <laughs> it's just silly mm-hmm. but yeah they're cool little animals because they're not much maintenance right uh, you just give them lettuce and watch them eat and stuff, and it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. But our turtle start laying eggs, and I was like, I don't know what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. None of them ever hatched, but laid eggs for sure. Right. They would eat them, though, so we never got to them in time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Animals are crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. So at the hotel that I'm at, we had a couple of celebrities in recently. We got uh, John Mulaney. Mm-hmm. You know who he is? Yes. I don't know who he is. He's a comedian. That's what everybody say. They say, everybody said he wrote for SNL or something like that. But I don't know how much they actually know about him. It's a bunch of young kids. So there's like, half of them didn't even know who he was. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then Whitney Cummings, who's mm-hmm. also a comedian, came. So it must have been because of the shows. They must have been on the same lineup or all doing shows that weekend or something for it to be at least two comedians, you know, at our place. I would assume that they had some shows going on in the same place we saw Mark Marin or something like that. Or the Merrill. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because so, we saw Mark Marin at the State Theater. Right. Just right. the way. I didn't know. I don't know what they do at They'd the They'd probably stay at the Westin if they're at the State. I don't know. I don't know what they do at the Merrill. I've never seen Tim saw the Dillon space. was there recently. Yeah. So yeah. they do all that yeah. type of stuff. I've never seen the space. I just saw so many people outside. It's a big auditorium. I, gotcha. Um, so, yeah. So... They come in, and then uh, John Mulaney, he puts himself under a different name. Mm-hmm. And it's like, and then they're like, this is his name, by the way. Okay, so you put it under a different name, but everybody know. Right. So how did that help you? Uh-huh. <laughs> so so the str- people outside of the hotel don't know. Yeah, but, like, how would they know anyway? <laughs> well, I think that you give them the name so that way you know that that's, you know, preferential treatment, man. Right, that's, the hotel see, that's, staff. That's where knows. it comes. That's part of it. He's right. like, "This is my name. This is my but, name." But nobody but knows this is who you. I really am. These are a bunch of like nineteen-year-olds. But people do know him. 
not the people there. <laughs> okay. So the, you ain't get no special treatment because nobody know who the fuck you are. Uh-huh. Like when a guy from uh, Game of Thrones came in, mm-hmm. nobody even bothered him. I just don't think people here are that starstruck like I've seen in other places. Right. Like people, you could be walking down the street and people are not going to be, hey, you're that. Mm-hmm. You're just like. They might look a second time, but they're not really going to bother you. They don't have that starstruck Mm -hmm. about people. Like After a concert, they might ask for, like, could you sign this or something Mm -hmm. like that. But people are not trying to, like, come up to your door and do things at the, like, it's just not going to happen that way. And you're not getting preferential treatment Mm -hmm. because I don't know who you is. But they did. Not for him, but Whitney Cummings, she wanted uh, melon and different fruits and stuff. And Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, we have berries on the menu, Mm -hmm. not melon. Right. So this kid went down and he's like, I'm going to cut it up because she's really rich and famous. And I was like, but why is that? He's like, because she's famous. So she's we have famous. to do it. Because we do it. <laughs> so he wanted to. So I let him do it. Mm-hmm. And then he's not even supposed to deliver it. It's supposed to be the host. He's like, I'm going to deliver it. It's like, you're a fan. Mm-hmm. He's like, she's really nice. I was like, you just want, like, you wanted to cut it up and say, I serve Whitney Cummings melon right. and then take it to her room and meet her. Why didn't you let the person that is her job to do it, do it? Why did you jump in front of her and then like say, I'm going to do it and take that from her? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just a fanboy. But the girl didn't care anyways. Right. Like, who is that? Yeah. <laughs> like, nobody cared. I know who she is because I like her. I like her content. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a fan of her. I think she's hilarious. And her and Tim Dillon is the ones that's close, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like her and his relationship together. So I I enjoy her content. Mm -hmm. But the kids at work, now I don't think any of them knew who she was. It's like they don't watch comedians. Like, Mm -hmm. who's that? Right. (laughs) So it's just interesting. This place is interesting when it comes to that because people don't, they're in their own bubbles and own worlds. They don't Mm -hmm. care about that stuff. They're shopping at the thrift store. They don't care about this person who got all this money or Mm -hmm. like whatever. Right. (laughs) So. That was interesting. And then we also, uh, we got a visit from the health inspector. Oh, no. Yeah. He come in, but he was nice to us. Nice. And it's just interesting because we have a girl that worked for us, and she's like, he looks really mean. It's like, girl. Some people look mean. He did look mean. <laughs> he did and he's look- like a man of authority. So, right. So she's you're like, like, there's that too. She's but like, people that do mean look man mean. sitting the mean at the man, bar. And he's going to give us a grade. Mm-hmm. But some people aren't mean, and they look like they're mean. Yeah, but we we uh, we passed. Uh, I think uh, he was courteous on us. I think he's a little courteous right now, considering people are shorthanded mm-hmm. uh, in the industry. So sometimes you'll get. There's got to be some sort of. I mean, you got to understand that, like, okay, certain things you can't just have like mold growing places. Like that's right. unacceptable. But if it's like something one thing that's like not labeled or something it's like are you gonna really crack down on somebody that hard for that and like be like well i'm gonna give you this you're gonna get in trouble have to pay like it's too much when you know the the climate and because he does it a lot around this area he's lenient towards people and don't like nitpick but if you get a girl health inspector home every single time this bitch want to come through check temperatures like this mm-hmm. is the longest inspection i've ever seen before <laughs> just like, get wanna, out of here yeah just want to pull everything apart and mm-hmm. like you fell it's <laughs> like you <laughs> what did you get out of doing that like you wanted to do that you know what i mean does uh your hotel have uh qa quality assurance from uh the main brand i'm not sure so i was working at a hotel and it was owned by it it was owned by an individual, but it was under the Hilton umbrella. Uh huh. And so basically, they pay to be associated with Hilton and into the club, and uh, they do a quality assurance. So they meet the standards of a Hilton, mm-hmm. right? So you gotta you gotta have it this way, that way. They've got a whole checklist of mm-hmm. things, and it's like it's like twenty pages long mm-hmm. of all these things and then they go to rooms and they check the stuff to make sure that like hey you know you could fix this you could fix that and uh i know we had had one of them happen like right Mm pre-covid and then after that we had a list of all the things that we had to do but then after that just threw it out of the way because everything became a skeleton crew you Mm -hmm. know like there's no people to do those things Mm -hmm. so that's the same thing like you gotta 
be a little lax, you know, on the yeah, standards right and practices. Like because at the end of the day, these businesses do bring in money for the town for the like charge workers and things like that. And like right now, people are just quitting every day, just mm-hmm. scrambling. Like it's like it's too shorthanded here. Maybe I can find somewhere where they have a couple extra people and it's not as difficult. Right. And uh, it's a uh, it's bad right now here just because right. of the amount of restaurants. Yeah. Well, you you had uh, you were gonna be a, a food del- house house. What were you gonna do? A what? Uh, room service. Yeah, room service. You're gonna be the room service server, and then whenever your first day, mm-hmm. the man was talking to you, and he was like, well, "What's your what's your fiance do?" And you're like, "He did uh, maintenance before." And then you, he gives you his card for me, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Don't worry about it." He's like, "We all have a good time here, you know. There's no stresses, blah blah blah." Fishing. And, and your first day, you're like, "They're struggling. They struggle over there." They mm-hmm. got no, and then don't be so damn desperate, <laughs> boy. Shit. And uh, and like, I like, thought about it, and I was like, "No." That's I'm what people don't. It. That's what people don't understand. And I know that you want to network and you want to get people in the door to work for you and work with you and all that stuff. But, but if you bring people into a job through dishonesty, they're dishonesty. not going to be happy. And also, if you're too thirsty, people who've been in the industry can tell yeah. that you're being thirsty. Mm-hmm. Like that trip I went on, a guy was like, "Okay, who wants applications?" Mm-hmm. Nobody wanted one because you're too thirsty, mm-hmm. which means it's going to be a difficult time here because you're begging for workers. Yeah, you need the workers. Uh-uh, I'm not about to be the dumb one that goes there. Mm-hmm. And I know But maybe there. you could be that agent of change. No, I can. You can't. could be the one that puts the place in the right right order. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to come in and do my job and not be overloaded with extra work and yeah. like having to carry multiple things because yeah it is too much it's literally physically and mentally breaking Mm -hmm. me down i'm just trying to get through the next few months and right once we make our move and everything start over fresh somewhere Mm -hmm. because most places not most places but some states are opposite i think a lot of states are opposite than portland i Mm -hmm. think portland has more restaurants than cooks yeah where a lot of places have more it's the opposite more mm-hmm. cooks than restaurants so if you're good you get those positions but you're right. you know you're fighting against other people but if your resume is great you'll get those positions anyway mm-hmm. versus here they'll just pick anybody up off the street right. and then they're like here you go manage them mm-hmm. like uh can you just babysit them yeah make sure they do everything right, right. Yeah. like how now you want me to do extra yeah <laughs> like, it's crazy yeah it's ridiculous so yeah so the industry is, is bad right now it sucks but whatever i'll get through it yeah um so the grammys is coming up Uh uh-huh kanye west get banned he's banned he's banned from the grammys no kanye at the grammys but he's no he'll be there oh he's allowed i don't know if he's gonna actually go he's banned from performing he cannot perform right performance ban right okay uh they don't want they don't know i think part of it people are saying because he went after trevor noah Mm -hmm. on uh online or whatever and caught him a coon and all this other stuff and uh trevor noah is hosting the grammys Mm -hmm. so some people speculate that that was the reason but i think i agree with some other people i think that they don't know what he's gonna do with that mic on live tv Mm -hmm. and with all the things that he's putting online he's trying to kill pete davidson and all that they're like um he might do something real crazy on live TV on our show, and we don't want to deal with the trouble that comes with that. Mm-hmm. We already we got we got past Eminem kneeling. You know, let's not deal with the Kanye. Huh? Right, right. But Eminem, <laughs> nobody knew he was kneeling for Kaepernick. <laughs> I thought it was. Remember, we were watching it. I was like, why he's still down there? <laughs> why is he down there? there. He, he need to get up. Yeah, it looked like and, he was just part of his. And then the next thing. day, Angela Yee was like, oh, he was kneeling. I was like, right. what? And everybody was like. We didn't know he was kneeling. We thought it was part of the performance. Right. That's so <laughs> so stupid. It didn't really get any. It passed over so quick because uh-huh. it just wasn't done properly. Right. It's like um. The Ka- camera lingered on him for just a little bit. It's like why is he still away? down there? Down and there? then like the Kaepernick thing happened. Like you could be mad at him all you want, but like uh, the Kaepernick thing happened a while ago. Mm-hmm. 
He's a rich man. Right. So what? You can't play football. Go do something fucking else. Mm -hmm. You can go play on a team in the neighborhood if you want to. Because right. they have those little teams where they go up to the parks and they might play against the other mm -hmm. little local teams. If you just love it that much. But, yeah. like, at this point, they're not letting you back in. Mm -hmm. You got your money. So there's no point. Because... Uh, Unless you're training every single second, if you're not competing at that level constantly, you're going to start losing some of that. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get in here with these guys who is actually in these training camps all right. the time. You have to compete. Yeah. And yeah. you're, and it's been years now. Mm -hmm. It's like, I think you're done. Just give it up at this point. Whatever. Yeah. Was it right or wrong? I don't know. I feel like you can stand up for injustice if you want. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, when you sign up for something, you know what the rules are with that league. Mm -hmm. You know what they represent. And you know they don't like to make waves in that way. Right. So you have to abide by those rules. Right. Like, it is what it is. It was the same thing with the girl who, uh, I can't think of her name, the black girl who was a track runner and she got popped with marijuana in her system. Mm -hmm. And she said because she has anxiety or something and her mom had just died and she smoked right. some weed. And then there was the this like little Chinese girl who got also caught up, and or a Russian girl, somebody competing in Russia. She got caught with stuff in her system, and they still let her compete. And mm. they were saying, uh, "Oh, Shikari Richardson." So she goes online. She's like, "How is that fair? I get popped for marijuana. She had like four or five drugs in her system, and she still gets to compete." And then Funky Dineva was like. But you still broke the rules. Right. Who cares if she gets to compete and you yeah. don't? You know you broke the rules. Yeah, and it's never, that simple. Never go to the other person and say, well, what about that? Well, what about them? Yeah. But what did you do? Right. You got reprimanded for what you did. You knew what you did was wrong. Uh -huh. You've been doing this sport for a while. You knew that you could get in trouble for it. Right. So don't be mad because somebody else didn't get the same treatment. Mm -hmm. and she, she in Russia competing and they don't care. Right. They just want the win. <laughs> they don't care what she had in their system. Mm -hmm. Like the rules kind of go out the window there, so yeah. But yeah, so Kanye West got banned, and then uh, so I don't know if we talked about it, but we're uh, I was telling you about the whole Morris Day thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how Morris Day they want to stop him from using the name Morris Day in the time. Yeah, they uh -huh. want to stop him from using the name because Prince owns it legally mm -hmm. like him and prince came up with like that extra part of the name right and but prince legally owns it and because his estate right now is all in court and everything they mm -hmm. put a hold the on estates, everything the estate's making all that prince money right now right they just released a new album i think it's called welcome to america mm -hmm. welcome to america mm -hmm. which, is, which is kind of funny because the movie welcome to america just mm -hmm. came out a year ago mm-hmm I believe that's the name of the album. I mm -hmm. think so. But maybe it was maybe they was gonna put it out when the movie came out, and it's a little bit late. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they say everything is tied up in the court. So while right. everything is tied up, they're stopping things. Anything that he owned, they're just putting a stop to it until they can figure out who's gonna be in charge right. legally. I so know Morris. They can't use his name no more. It's like after he had passed, like all of a sudden, like he had such a hold on all of his music. Mm -hmm. You know, like they were only available here and here. You know, he he was he was famous for like you know making his own stuff, owning his own stuff after mm -hmm. you know the labels you know jerked him around so much. Mm -hmm. And then like after he died, there's like every prince everywhere. The family just cashed in. They said, "Who wants it? You want it? You want it? You want it? We're gonna give it to all the people so we can get all the money from it." Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, crazy. and that's that's what it is. Like I mean, a lot of celebrities die from substance abuse and mm -hmm. things like that. And Prince was so private, nobody even knew. Then they got videos of him standing outside the pharmacy like a junkie trying to get a fix. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh my god, nobody even knew because right. he was so private. So private that he was doing anything. Put himself together whenever he was on Ellen. You mm -hmm. know, he looked good. Yeah, so nobody knew. I mean, we just. Uh, you uh, just watched the Rick James documentary, mm -hmm. and that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he was another one that got caught up in the lifestyle. Right. Yeah, literally. They don't They don't talk about it on uh, that one, but uh, they're, they're like... I mean, they give you enough details to know that he was out of fucking control. Oh, Rick James? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the com competition between Rick James and Prince, you know, right. because they were on tour together at a time, and... And then, like, everything. They were both, like, producing, like, female bands at the same time. Mm -hmm. And Prince was just above them all the time. And then 
I can't remember. It's another series. It's called uh, Tales from the Bus, and I can't remember how they describe how Prince <laughs> is. He even he even died a little more uh, uh, respectable than Rick James did. Yeah, like, so they're like he beat him even in death. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's sad. Yeah, it is sad. Rick James was a definitely a character. Mm-hmm. Like he had a personality that was just too much. That document is called Bitchin'. Mm -hmm. that documentary was pretty good and it's funny because you hear him talk about it in his own words right he he talks over the documentary a lot yeah like about you know what's happening here what's happening there and it's just like all the recordings of him during interviews and stuff it's it's pretty cool that they can that you can be recorded that much and then like they're able to put out a whole documentary whole documentary with you narrating it you know yeah and uh they say that the Dave Chappelle show was pretty much his downfall. Mm-hmm. They're like, he was just getting himself back together. But then when the Dave Chappelle stuff came out, mm-hmm. it was a resurgence. And like now people start calling him for gigs. And like he started getting all these opportunities right. and he got back popular. He got them. And he was the man again. And he right. got went right back into doing the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, they said that he was never really a sober man. Right. He was always doing the drugs. Right. But then once he got the popularity, popularity again, back and the people were around him. Right. again and those people that want stuff and that all right. that all that extra stuff of right. the of the wanting of other people you know mm-hmm. that's got to be something man yeah definitely yeah. and then especially if you feed into it yeah you know, it's, it's crazy mm-hmm. oh, is that it sure all right go ahead oh uh thank you for listening to uh the sweet gravy podcast uh you can uh find us on youtube uh Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and many other uh, streaming platforms. Uh, mm-hmm. If you have any questions or comments, please give us an email at sweetgravypod at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>